stands last night, but tensions were running high. We saw scenes that we don't want to see at any sport, but uh, don't see it too much in AFL, but there was a brawl in the stands in the aftermath of this game, and uh, I guess we highlight this because if it happened in the A-League, Francis... That'd be front, you, that'd be front, front page, page news. That'd be page one, two and three of the Herald Sun for the next three days. Yeah, I won't be, You bet that's not going to be on the front page for the next three days. I won't be going out for dinner in Geelong anymore because of the <laughs> a AFL gang storting the streets. But that is bad. Geelong is always traditionally, in my experience, is such a friendly um, venue. I've, I've never seen that before at Geelong. Is that, has it changed, the, the vibe down there, John? No, to indicate that, the, 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 the first night game, the terrace was so quiet we could hear BT's commentary from the TV screens. <laughs> oh, sorry it's, to but, hear that. But that was, the, that, yeah, <laughs> that was the terrace. I mean, that's where families go. Um, and it can. Mm. I've never seen anything like that up there, but clearly that's just unacceptable. 